Barry Newman, a renowned actor and philanthropist, recently passed away at age 83. Over the course of his career, he made a name for himself in Hollywood, starring in numerous films and television shows. Join Facts First as we explore how Barry Newman's cause of death was utterly tragic. Early Life Barry was an American actor and screenwriter whose career spanned more than five decades. He was born November 7, 1938 in Boston and grew up in the neighborhoods of Dorchester and Roxbury. His father, Carl Newman, was a textile manufacturer and his mother Adele was a homemaker. Newman grew up in a Jewish family with three siblings and attended Brandeis University. Barry became interested in acting while studying there and joined the university's theater group. Furthering his acting dreams, he attended Boston University's School of Fine Arts and honed his craft at various theaters across the country, including the Williamstown Theater Festival. After graduation, he moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting and began taking classes at the Actors Studio. He made his Broadway debut in A Clearing in the Woods in 1957. He later moved to Hollywood and made his film debut in The Young Savages in 1961. Newman eventually landed his breakthrough role in the 1967 film Cool Hand Luke. His next big role came in 1971's Vanishing Point, where he played the lead Kowalski. Directed by Richard Serafian, the movie follows the story of Kowalski, a car delivery driver who is challenged to deliver a 1970 Dodge Challenger from Colorado to San Francisco in less than 15 hours. The film is known for its action-packed chase scenes and for being one of the most iconic car movies of all time. It features memorable performances by Cleavon Little and Dean Jagger. It's since become a cult classic among fans of car movies and cult cinema. Barry Newman's work on television and in film He went on to appear in numerous shows and films throughout the 70s and 80s, including Petroselli, The Lawyer, Deadline Auto Theft, and The Limey. He's perhaps best known, aside from his role in Vanishing Point, as Tony Petroselli in the series Petroselli. Some of the other notable films he starred in include Fear is the Key, Salvage One, and The Punisher. Petroselli aired from 1974 to 76. It followed Petroselli, a former defense lawyer who moves to a rural Arizona town with his wife to pursue his dream of becoming a prosecutor. The show is praised for its smart writing and complex characters, and it earned Newman a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a TV Series Drama. The Lawyer was a short-lived series that aired in 1970. He played the role of Dave Barrett, a young lawyer who becomes disillusioned with the legal system and decides to become a private investigator instead. While it only lasted one season, it helped establish Newman as a leading man in television. Deadline Auto Theft was a movie released in 1983 and starred Newman as Lloyd Hopkins, an L.A. police detective who finds himself embroiled in a dangerous car theft ring. The film was well received by critics and is still considered a cult classic. Meanwhile, The Limey, released in 1999, saw Newman play a small but pivotal role as Jim Avery, a wealthy music producer who may have had a hand in the events that led to the death of the main character. Finally, Fear is the Key, Salvage One, and The Punisher are all films that showcased his versatility as an actor. Fear is the Key is a suspenseful thriller about a man seeking revenge on those who killed his family, while Salvage One is a light-hearted adventure movie about a group of junk collectors who build a spaceship to travel to the moon. The Punisher, meanwhile, is a comic book adaptation in which Newman plays the villainous businessman Howard Saint. Barry also worked behind the scenes. Newman was an accomplished screenwriter. He wrote the screenplay for the 1975 film Adventures of a Taxi Driver and wrote and directed the 1980 film Whispers in the Dark. Adventures of a Taxi Driver is a British comedy. Barry also had a small role in the film as a passenger. It follows a young taxi driver named Joan North, played by Barry Evans, as he navigates the seedy and often hilarious world of London's nighttime streets. Along the way, he encounters a variety of eccentric characters, including a group of rowdy sailors and a seductive model. The Adventures of a Taxi Driver was a commercial success and spawned two sequels, Adventures of a Private Eye and Adventures of a Plumber's Mate. While not exactly highbrow cinema, Adventures of a Taxi Driver is a fun and lighthearted romp that showcases Barry Newman's talent for comedy writing. Meanwhile, Whispers in the Dark is a 1992 thriller. It stars Annabella Sciorra, 
as a psychiatrist who becomes romantically involved with a patient played by Jamie Sheridan, who may be a serial killer. Newman has a small role in the film as a police detective. The movie explores themes of psychoanalysis, sexuality, and obsession, and received mixed reviews. However, it has since gained a cult following among fans of the thriller genre. As both writer and director, Newman was able to bring his unique perspective to the film, and his experience as an actor likely helped him bring out strong performances from the cast. It's a fun comedy, while Whispers in the Dark is a tense and atmospheric thriller that's well worth checking out for fans of the genre. Despite his success in Hollywood, Newman remained humble and dedicated to his craft, always striving to improve as both an actor and a screenwriter. Barry was a philanthropist and a husband and father. Newman was known for his dedication to social causes and involved in various charitable organizations. He was a supporter of environmental causes and donated to numerous organizations, including the Sierra Club and Greenpeace. He was also a champion of education and healthcare initiatives and lent his support to various organizations focused on these issues. On a personal level, Newman was married to his wife, Diana, for over 50 years. They had two daughters, Nancy and Sarah. He was also an avid collector of cars and loved driving fast. He owned several classic sports cars, including a 1971 Hemi Cuda. He passed away June 4, 2023, at age 92. His contributions to both the entertainment industry and wider society will be remembered for years to come. He was a true icon and a legend in his own right, and his memory will live on through his work and the countless lives he touched. Following Barry's passing, there was an immense outpouring of grief and tributes from fans, former co-stars, and colleagues in the entertainment industry. Many paid tribute to Newman's talent as an actor and his contributions to the film and television industry. Fans took to social media to express sadness and share memories of him, while several actors and industry professionals shared heartfelt messages on various platforms, expressing their admiration for his work and the impact he had on them personally and professionally. The overwhelming response to his passing is a testament to the love and respect people had for him as an actor and a person. One great way to memorialize the actor is to look at humorous anecdotes from his career. During the filming of Vanishing Point, Newman's character was supposed to say, I'll see you in the next life, William. However, Newman accidentally said, I'll see you in Disneyland. The line was kept in the film and has become one of the movie's most memorable moments. He had a good sense of humor about himself, as evidenced by his comments in an interview where he joked that his real-life persona was the Jewish Cary Grant, since he had all the elegance and style but none of the money or looks. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know actor Barry Newman was also a writer and director and had a great sense of humor? Let us know in the comments section below.